what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video uh it's another video of ding repair i have this uh, my friend's board here and he has this nasty uh ding over here from a uh, fin of another surfboard this is right on the rail and this is on a very critical point where the the rail engages the water the most it's not a big ding and uh it's not a big deal but it's important to do it in the right way so what we're going to do first of all we're going to mask the area of the thing then we're going to sand it a little bit so we can cut around the thing we're going to fill it with some epoxy and the powder rebuild the shape of the rail then we're going to put three diamonds different sizes of four oz fiberglass we're going to sand and finish the entire thing Maybe I'm gonna make another uh, uh, a small art on top of that, maybe black spray or something to, to disguise the fix. We'll see. First, let's send this, uh, let's send the area. Okay, so now this area is peeled and uh, I can see the foam over here and now we're going to mix some uh, resin with the uh, micro balloon powder. We're going to make a nice a little bit of a heel here so we have a lot of material to take down and have a perfect shape and then we're going to plus it. Okay, now after the material has dried, uh, I sand it down and created this very nice line of the rail. You can also see that I sand it around the, the ding, at least about an inch or so, because I want the fiberglass to go over the ding. So we're going to put two layers of fiberglass, four OZ. One is going to be a small piece, exactly above it, and one is going to be larger. And then uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna put a tape over here and tape over here. We don't want to get resin all over the place. And once it's dry, we're gonna sand it, hot coat it, sand it again with water papers, and then a little bit of a clear coat. And that's it. It's gonna be good as new. Okay, I've cut two pieces of fiberglass. One is very, very small, and this is a diamond shape to cover the ding, and then a bigger one to cover all of it. I hope it's clear and you can see it. So I'm going to use uh, two layers of fabric. This is 4OZ, it's gonna be very, very strong. Uh, this board is gonna be good as new. Okay, two layers of fiberglass, a smaller one and a bigger one wrapping around, uh, at least one inch from each side, it's gonna be very strong. Uh, next, we're gonna let it dry, we're gonna sand it, hot coat, sand it again, I'm gonna clear coat it, and we'll be good to go. Okay, this is all dry up, it's two layers of fiberglass, uh, strong, 24 hours, we can sand it right now, and then hot coat it, sand again, work with a little bit with water paper, uh, clear coat, and this thing is uh, ready to go. Okay. 
I'm super, super, super happy with this. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, it's ready to get hot coated now. Okay, I've added another layer of hot coat. Uh, very small one, just to cover everything up real nice. Um, we're gonna give it until tomorrow, sand it, come back with water paper, clear coat, that's it. This uh, fix is done. Now, some people like to leave it as is. They don't really care about how it looks as long as it's strong. And uh, But I would rather to do something on it, like black spray to do some kind of shape or something, but the guy I'm fixing, it doesn't care about it. So that's it, this is done. Uh, again, at the beginning, we've opened this uh, thing. We let all the water, the, the board dry. Then we filled it with resin and powder. We rebuilt the shape. We put two layers of fiberglass in diamond shape. Sand it, uh, hot coated it, sand it. Uh, you use the water and uh, 400 grit, 800 grit, and now a little bit of a clear coat. And this board is uh, stronger than ever. I hope, I hope this uh, video will help you to fix your board at home. See you soon in the next video.